I wanted to make this video and basically give Helldivers 2 their flowers. I feel like this game came out at a perfect time. There ain't nothing to play. You're either playing something that's been out for multiple years or you're playing on PC, playing indie games and stuff like that. There's nothing There's nothing going on in gaming right now. GTA 6 is still a year away. Call of Duty is Call of Duty. Like, it's the state of Call of Duty is terrible. Hackers everywhere. Uh, Helldivers 2 is by far the most fun thing that you could possibly be playing right now, and it's only 40 bucks. Uh, the devs can easily charge 60 to 70, really more than 70. They really, really wanted to. They was really greedy. They could really jack the price up on this game, and people would still pay it because it's that good of a game. But that just goes to show you how much they actually care about making a good game rather than milking the players' pockets like every other company out there. And that goes to show you that the Helldivers 2 devs are not greedy, and they would rather focus on making a good game that they actually like and that they know players will flock to over time. And I feel very, very confident when I say this game is going to still be relevant in five years. How many games can come out for 40 bucks in, in 2024 in today's video game market and still be relevant five years down the road? I guarantee this game will still be relevant. It'll still have a player base. It's going to go down as one of the greatest games of all time. Mark my words. I guarantee it. Mainly because of how it's changing the marketing, how it's changing the um, you don't have to be a triple A game to be good. You don't have to have microtransactions ruining, plaguing the game. Like, you don't have to have all that to be good. You know what I'm saying? You Just make something good that people will enjoy, and the word will spread, and people will play your game. That's exactly what's going on with Helldivers 2. I heard about this game through word of mouth. I didn't see an advertisement for this game. I didn't see it on Instagram or an ad on Twitter or anything like that. I, I heard about this strictly from word of mouth. That lets me know they didn't even take the marketing serious for this game because it was out for three weeks before I even bought it. So that lets you know right there, for this game to be as popular as it is, by mostly spreading by word of mouth, that tells you that it's something that's worth picking up. It's something that's worth buying and trying out for yourself. I can guarantee you the Helldiver 2 devs had no idea what they were making was going to completely change the whole gaming market. This game has set the new standard. We're tired of microtransactions. We're tired of like vague content. You know what I'm saying? We're tired of pay overpaying for everything. There have been so many AAA games that have been exposed over the past few years for just being trash, being lied to by devs, man. Games coming out, not even being playable at launch, being filled with bugs and glitches. With Helldivers 2, on the other hand, everything that was plaguing the game when it comes to bugs and glitches was fixed within the first month of its release. Now, how many devs are doing that nowadays? How many developers are making sure they fix the player's problem so they can actually enjoy what they paid for right away? You know what I'm saying? Within a timely manner. Like, we understand y'all have a lot going on. We understand y'all are human, too. But at the same time, we paid for y'all. So we, we, we gave you our money. So it's your job to make sure that what we pay for is running at its optimal peak. There's literal games out here where you can't even get into a match without lagging, or, you know what I'm saying, having latency and, you know what I'm saying, your ping be high as hell. It's games where you can't even get into a good server, but you can go to the store and you can buy something. No problem, no lag, no nothing. No, not even a buffer or a stutter. Nothing. The store worked perfectly. The store got the best server in the world. Store servers work all the time. But when it's actually time to play what you paid for, they don't know how to work. You know what I'm saying? That's the sad state of 2024 gaming. Everything in this game that you unlock is fairly easy to unlock. As long as you just play the game, you will unlock everything within a very decent amount of time. You don't have to grind and grind and grind and grind. No, you just play casually and you'll get it. Helldivers 2 is probably one of the only games that actually reward the player just for playing. But the rewards are actually something that you would want. Like the gear they give you is actually useful. The weapons they give you are fun to play around with. You know what I'm saying? Nowadays, if a game actually gives you something for free, it's most likely something that no one wants or no one would ever actually use in game. And to top it all off, the Helldivers 2 community is very, very healthy. It's not toxic like a lot of the other communities out there in gaming, especially in 2024. It's very, very toxic out there. Um, this game being a PvE game, I feel like the mindset naturally is more friendly is more team based it's not about talking shit to your teammates it's about being there to save their ass if they get surrounded by too many enemies you know what i'm saying that's the mindset behind being a hell diver you know what i'm saying it's not it's not negative it's a very very positive experience when you play this game there needs to be more games like this i feel like the abundance of having pvp games has made us all hate each other just because we're so used to having to kill each other 
we're not used to having to work together against a common enemy, which Helldivers 2 is doing perfectly. So, like I said, man, they're doing a great job with this game. I follow them on Twitter. And then they're, they're very, very active on Twitter. And they respond to tweets on there. They post consistent updates on what's going on with the game. They're also keeping this game very fresh. They just added in a brand new premium war bond, which is basically like the battle pass or the season pass. You know what I'm saying? But the war bond is 10 bucks. You know what I'm saying? You don't feel super pressured to buy it. You actually do want to buy it when you see it come up because it's like if you enjoy the game, you don't mind giving them, giving the devs an extra 10 bucks because you enjoy the game so much. It's like, here, take, take my money. You know what I'm saying? What else you got here? Take some more money. Just keep giving me new content. Because the game is that fun. You don't mind spending that extra cash. But I hope that y'all enjoyed this review of Helldivers 2. Like I said, I wanted to get them their flowers. I feel like this game is great. I feel like they're going to win some type of an award before the year over with. Um, if you haven't tried it out, man, don't knock it till you try. Go ahead and buy it. Let me know what you think of it in the comments. You know, it's me, your boy, Fly the Make sure you drop a like, subscribe if you're new. And I'm out, bro.